It is truly a great honor to have this opportunity to address this graduating class of 2008. When asked to give this speech, my first thoughts were, hey, hey so how is me? <laughs> it took me by surprise because I had already made up my mind that I would be sitting comfortably in your place and watching somebody else sweat on this podium. <laughs> Evidently, God had another plan for me. So here I stand, proud to be your valedictorian for 2008. I would like to extend a special welcome to all present and to my fellow graduates, congratulations for having made it this far. I have selected a quote that I believe all of us should take note of, especially for the graduates on our final leg of this journey at Sarafa Lewis. To accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream. Not only plan, but also believe. When we first entered the gates of Sahafa Lewis, there was only one thought in our heads. Freedom at last. <laughs> For some, freedom meant wearing the fanciest jewelry, the fanciest hairstyles and makeup. For others, it meant finally being able to sit behind the wheel of that mad, mad car they hoped their parents would buy for them one day. And maybe for a minority, it meant not having to study at all. Little did we know that Sir Arthur Lewis was everything else but freedom. In fact, it was an experience of a lifetime, one that we graduates will always remember. Indeed, there were some rough times. We endured long lines at the cafeteria, empty pockets complements the reprographic center. Better known as the <laughs> boring classes that never seem to end. Tiring days we wish had never begun. And assignments that magically multiplied on a daily basis. However, amidst the depression, the tears, the sleepless nights, the migraines, and the temporary insanity, there were golden moments that we will always cherish. Hanging out in the kiosk and the calf, the warm laughter, the jokes, the frequent escapades from dull classes, and the friendships. Our years at Sir Arthur Lewis, no matter how exciting or challenging they were, have finally come to a conclusion. I hope my fellow graduates will agree with me when I say it was about time. Now here we are, the proud graduating class of 2008. There is no moment like now to celebrate. Although we have endured many a struggle, we have all emerged as winners. Graduates, do not leave here tonight with the belief that our journey is over. If truth be told, this is only the beginning. 
in every one of us, there is a vision or a dream waiting to be born. If we keep our focus on our dreams, we will be motivated to conquer all self-doubt and fear. Robert Schuller, American televangelist and well-known author, once said, build a dream and the dream will build you. It is through our dreams that we become truly great. Dreams challenge us to find the very best part of ourselves. No great person ever achieves success without having a dream. One such example of greatness is Barack Obama, the first black president of the United States. Obama started the race for the White House with nothing but a dream. Even though he was ridiculed by many for his attempts, like Joseph in the Bible, he never stopped dreaming. All of us here can learn from Obama's victory because his success today is evidence that nothing is impossible. How about the great physicist Albert Einstein? He was four years old before he could speak and seven before he could read. His parents believed that he was retarded. Einstein was once told by a teacher that he would never amount to anything. Ludwig van Beethoven, one of the world's best composers and pianists, continued to compose music even after he lost his hearing completely. Condoleezza Rice was the first black woman to be the United States Secretary of State. At 12 years old, she told her father that one day she would be in the White House. The famous scientist, Isaac Newton, who invented modern day physics, did poorly in mathematics. Every one of the aforementioned had a dream. In spite of the criticism and physical and mental disabilities, these individuals were able to achieve greatness. They did not dwell on their personal struggles, but kept the focus on the vision that was blossoming inside their hearts. As Pope John the 23rd once said, Consult not your fears, but your hopes and your dreams. Think not about your frustrations, but about your unfulfilled potential. Concern yourself not with what you tried and failed in, but with what it is still possible for you to do. There may not be an Obama, an Einstein, a Van Beethoven, a Rice, and a Newton, in every one of us seated here today. But there may be an engineer, an architect, an astronaut, a professor, or a chef. Dare to dream. Dare to accomplish the unthinkable. Forget not the values that have been instilled in us. We must use them wisely to develop ourselves and to make our dreams become a reality. Remember that we are in control of our future and our destiny. We have the power. The question is, what are we going to do with it? It would be unthinkable to conclude this message without extending our gratitude to the people who have supported us along this journey. We would like to say a big thank you to the principal and staff of Sir Arthur Lewis. Thank you for putting up with us for all this time. Thank you for tolerating our tardiness, our excuses, our complaints, our bored expressions. We appreciate your devotion to our personal and educational development. To our parents and guardians, thank you for the encouragement. Some of us would not have made it without your guidance. To our friends, 
thank you for being there when we needed a shoulder to cry on or someone to share our joys. Thank you to the government of St. Lucia for generously subsidizing our education. Most importantly, we say thank you to our Father in heaven for blessing us with this opportunity and seeing us through this special day. To the class of 2008, let this day be a memorable one, one that we will never forget, one that we will preserve in our photographs and diaries forever. In conclusion, I would like to leave you with this short poem, Dare to Dream, whether they are in color or in black and white, whether they are big or small, easily attainable or almost impossible, look to your dreams and make them become reality. Wishes and hopes are nothing until you take the first step and make them something. Dare to dream because only by dreaming will you ever discover who you are, what you want, and what you can do. Don't be afraid to take risks, to become involved, to make commitments. Do whatever it takes to make your dreams come true. Always believe in miracles and always believe in you. Congratulations to you once again, fellow graduates, and congratulations for enduring yet another speech. I hope that what I have said here today has left an imprint on your hearts. If not, I could always start over. <laughs> Though I'd rather not. <laughs> God bless. I thank you. <laughs>